I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. And it's Friday. The best day of the week. Boop, boop. Well, we got some beanstack news coming your way for some grade levels in kindergarten. Second place, Miss Jessa. 300, Miss Randall. Miss Hernandez at 1,796 minutes in second place. And in first place, Miss Eels, 1,890. In second place, I said this teacher's name, you know, for the first time on the news last week. I get to say it again. <clears throat> Miss Howe is in second place with 622. But Miss Holica coming in number one, lady, Ooh. at 1,614. I'm proud of you guys. Aww. All right, third graders, I'm going to cut you a little bit of slack. There was not enough even to even celebrate, but give yourself a round of applause because your reading tests are over. So there's that. I guess they were a little busy. A little busy. Just a little bit. But we're going to do some reading and some reviews this week. Okay. In fourth grade, we have Miss Preston with 12 reviews. Mr. Hobbs, 26. So you get it rewarded back as in first place. No better place to be. Awesome. All right, teachers, just a reminder, this will be a great time. I know we're all so busy. Everybody just take a moment, find a book, have a seat, put on some Beanstalk Minutes for the class. Everyone get some quiet time, and yet, in your head, a movie. It's perfect. And I want to compliment my favorite review for the week. This one comes from a second grader. It says, I love, it's about, the book is titled One Giant Leap. It says, I love this book because it teaches me how the first people got to the moon. I am super excited for the future to see what humans invent later on in life. This book is super important to mankind, and I really enjoy the speech that Neil Armstrong said, one small step for man and one giant leap for mankind. Good job, Benjamin Costa. So Miss Stokey is going to be me today, and she's going to deliver Cheetos to you that you can, and Miss, Miss Ahalaga, feel free to put it up, or you can let it wrap. You can, it's all about what you want, Miss, Miss Ahalaga, when this arrives. So, congratulations, Ben. Good job. Nice. Yesterday, fifth grade took their science test. I mean, it was a big one. Big one. 45 questions. Are you kidding me? However, you guys rocked it. It was amazing. So, if you are a fifth grader, give yourself a pat on the back. Oh, yeah. And if you're not a fifth grader, do a nice little claim clap. And if you have a makeup test today, now you know what's coming. <laughs> <laughs> I, but I'm sure you'll do wonderful, and I'm yes. sure you'll have a great day. So, keep reading. Keep mapping. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy Friday, dragons. It is a happy birthday Week. Type of day. Yes. Happy birthday it's, it's, week, it's, a day, it's, it's a, a month, good one. a year. Birthdays are so fun. Absolutely. I like them. Absolutely. And we're here to tell you this week's birthdays. So, this week, we had some very happy birthdays to Aiden Abreu. Very happy. Happy birthday, Aiden. Uh, T. Shay out of Doyen. T. Shay, you came and saw, said it was your birthday during lunch. And I know Miss Eels gave you a point. Good awesome. job. Kyle Brink's birthday was this week. Drew Holiday. Happy birthday to Gabe Agavino today. Um, and Emran Karachik today. And James McLeod today. And Seidel Morales today. And Michaela Rivera is also today. And Mateo Zavala is hey, all today. That's can, a lot of birthdays can, today. Can we fit one more in? Who else's birthday is today? I, mean, I don't know. Oh, I thought yeah. like I was like, is it your birthday, Mr. Hobbs? You know what? It's I not. it's it's Bob's birthday. It's Bob's happy yes. birthday to good old Bob. Yeah. And then uh, this weekend, happy birthday to Kimberly Ching Fernandez, Selena Litvak, Nailies Mercedes Cruz, Nailies happy birthday, kiddo. Isaiah Ortiz, Grace Shalonki, Sonalise Mercedes Cruz, and Jason Rojas. Jason, brother of Jacob, happy birthday. Absolutely. 
And that's all we got today, folks. Hey. But next week, we will be doing next week's birthdays plus all the June summer birthdays. Why? Why? Because we don't have a summer morning show. We, we're, Is we, next week the last week of school? No, but we're going to do oh. June next week. And then the following week, which will be the last week of school, we'll do all of July's as well. That way we don't oh, have like a super Oh, so we're long... not doing June and July all in the same. Yeah, right. because I it, think... We'd be here all morning. And, and I, I think a particular uh, teacher by the name of uh, Miss Gillis would not like that. I don't know if I would like that. Oh, I would. I think it would be a lot of fun. I could go on and on and on and on and on. Would you write a song about it, too? I don't know if I'm a songwriter. Okay. I, you, you, I, when it comes well, to music, I just press the power and the play button. That's, okay. that's about it. Okay. Maybe adjust the volume. All right. Well, uh, everybody, repeat after me with what we normally answer with. Are you ready? An ostinato is... Huh? What? Do you know the answer? <laughs> What language was that? Well, today you have um, an assignment, guys. If you see Mr. Hobbs, you need to tell him what an ostinato is. Ooh, I like that one. That's a very good one. Uh, yes. Yes. All right. All Toodles. right. I like that. Later. Shay out. Hobbs out. See ya.